secure enough to bring the number in here. Once it's there, she got Because what's a boys trip to LA without? I mean, this is like what the second or third stop here. You, we come here all the time. We also got some pretty good news today uh, on Twitter via Niantic for the Community Day next month. That is pretty exciting stuff. We're gonna go over that and kind of uh, some strategies to go about getting ready for swine up a community day, but I mean, you know, obviously first, I'll knock out the mail, and then say goodbye to these guys. Alright guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, uh, they're, they're heading back up to the bay, we're heading to the bay next week on Wednesday, so we'll see them soon. And we'll see you in San Francisco. Yeah, and, very uh, soon, very soon. Yeah, check out their channels. I was gonna say we needed a PvP for sit -up stones today, but... We have good news that we'll talk about, so we'll not, we won't talk oh, yeah, about Oh yeah, yeah, you're we'll gonna talk, talk about, about. They'll see it in like three, two, one. I just poured something in my... I'm only counting. I know that uh, it's only January, but Middle Child by J. Cole, easily the best song of the year. I think J. I'm, I'm gonna predict it. 2018 was Drake's year, hands down. 2019, if J. Cole keeps his energy, is going to be J. Cole's year, and I'm very excited because I'm a Huge J. Cole fan. Well, the more relevant news, uh, Pokemon Go. Let's hop on in and kind of see what's popping around here. Seven kilometer eggs is what, what's what's popping here. Number one being, and I guess I, I could I could use this time to explain kind of what's happening with uh, Swine Up Community Day and why you should not worry. Uh, we just actually hit a thousand Jinx candy on that, which was great. And three million Stardust. We're back over three mil. Swine Up Community Day. Do not worry about the whole Sinnoh Stone issue. You know what? I don't know. <gasps> Badoo. I don't know if this was announced in the in-game notification. Obviously, I cannot check right now because I'm matching eggs. Mm, yes, I can check, huh? In the news, uh, I totally forgot that it said right here, for the first time, use a Sinnoh Stone to evolve Pilot Swine during uh, or up to one hour, uh, during or up to one hour during the event, after the event, geez, uh, to obtain Mammoth Swine that knows a special move. So Mammoth Swine can know a special move. Now, the problem with this event, which it did doesn't, right? Doesn't say in here. Oh, it does. It, 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 it does, okay. Earn five rewards per day from Trainer Battle during the Community Day weekend and earn up to five Sinnoh Stones from Trainer Battles on Community Day. So on Community Day, you're gonna get a guaranteed five Sinnoh Stones. As outlined here in this tweet from Nitec Support, on February 16th and 17th, Trainer Battle rewards will increase from three to five on both days. During your region's Community Day, you'll be guaranteed five Sinnoh Stones. CD and app notification and whatnot. So basically, you can get up to five rewards. So if you get really lucky and get five Sinnoh Stones out of those five rewards, mm, and that's possible munchlax, which is always a fun hatch. But the big thing here is that on community day, you are guaranteed five Sinnoh stones, obviously through trainer battles. So you're gonna have to PVP for those, but I mean, oh no, we have to PVP. <laughs> Get out of here, much much relax. No, I'm totally cool with that. That'll be super fun. So on Community Day, uh, again, we, we will be in Vegas for this one. Uh, it's gonna be fun, and we will be doing some the PVP battles, questionably alive, as real. And we'll be battling throughout the entire weekend because I mean the weekend, as you saw from the post, uh, grants up to or grants five rewards, which is potentially five Sinnoh Stone. I don't think that's even Azrael. I don't think it's possible to get five out of five Sinnoh Stones out of like the, you know, up to five rewards. That was a good uh, Azrael. But that would be pretty incredible. So that's what's going on with Community Day. Uh, there's a, that's kind of the news that I wanted to share that was already in the in, that's a great hatch, already in the in-game announcement. So this is uh, old news and it's nothing to really talk about. It's, you know, just wanted to specify exactly what's going on on the Community Day so you guys uh, understand how the Sinnoh Stone distribution works. Now, if we can get a legend six minutes. I'm only in Santa Monica. I, I have to go get lunch, like, right now. I might go hit that Kyogre and then go get lunch. I'm getting ramen with some friends today, and I will probably see you over at that Kyogre. I just stepped in a lake of mud. Every time an event ends, I'm always like, really gonna miss the spawns. And then a new event starts, 
And then we get spawns like this, like Shuppet, Aeron. Wolf Disc. If, if we, any of them, if we can get any of them. This event, this event is fun. I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna be happy to see this one go, especially considering, I mean, these these raids, the Kyogre and Groudon. We still do not have the uh, shiny Groudon. I'm gonna try to get at least one Groudon right in before we leave today, just because uh, we, we've got two Kyogres. I do not wanna have to drop a million dust on a Groudon. I know we just got three million dust. I don't wanna spend it all. And three great those, there goes the check mark for the day. Also, we just got a Lunatone too, and I was gonna comment on that. I love seeing those spawn around because, dude, that was a hard one to get. We re remember in Rome? Jake and I sprinted like seven blocks to get that one in the Pokedex. In the other Go news, I know the uh, Brazil event actually, the uh, Safari. Safari Zone, what is it called again? The Porto Alegre event. Uh, I don't know if it's happening right now as you're watching this video, but it's this weekend, so I know no one went but Holly. So I hope Holly has a great time out there. Actually, did any other YouTubers go that, that I know of? I know that Nick was supposed to go, he got sick. I hope he feels better soon. I know Holly is there right now, so I hope Holly has a great time, and I hope everybody who joined in on that event in South America, you guys have a fantastic one. And it's, I'm, I'm excited to see South America finally get something from Pokemon Go. Uh, the community's kind of been very vocal about that. So congrats on the Brazil event. Brazil, have fun. I know Relicanth is, is spawning out there for you, which is one of the rarest and hardest to get, le or the legendaries, regionals. Um, so good luck on that. If I was there, you guys know, I wouldn't catch it. Jake would though. Jake would. Okay, first legendary of the day, down to nine balls. Not rating with Gilly, so we do not get that best friend bonus, but no, I, we, Groudon is the only goal for this event. I don't care about Kyogre too much, but Groudon has to happen. I missed that. Easy, excellent. And down to the last ball. We're just gonna lob the pineapple. I kinda gotta go. Uh, plus, we don't need more Kyogre, can he? Yeah, he can, he can dip. Sick. Uh, I think that egg should have hatched by now. It's a Groudon, and I can't go raid it because I have to hide. That's cool, though. Ramen. Wait, 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 you wait. wait. Figured I'd show this part of the uh, the process. Currently sitting, was laying on my office floor. <laughs> um, working on the platform right now, this like side project. It's a startup company is what it is. Um, and it's a platform. Working on that right now. I'm in like the baby phase of it, phases of it still. In the idea phases of just kind of getting everything down, solidifying connections, now looking at finding developers, funding, hiring people on, like, you know, like startup type stuff. And as I was sitting here getting work done, I got hit with a, a wave of of I want to lay on my floor and, and lightly sob to little Dicky because I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> so uh, that's been my past 15 minutes. Just want to remind everybody that uh, when the camera's not rolling, it's not all glorious Pokemon catches and savage seasoning. There's, you know, it's, we're grinding out here. But we're laying, currently sitting, but like, Attempting to grind out here. But yeah, I, uh, I've been showing a lot less of me and a lot less of my daily life on this channel because I've been doing a lot off of Pokemon Go, so I figured I'd maybe do little updates every once in a while of, you know, what the life of Mystic Seven's kind of actually like when I'm not playing Pokemon Go. Figured some people could get a kick out of it. You know, Pokemon Masters, we get stressed out too sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, so to anybody uh, working on something special or just overwhelmed with everything going on in life, don't worry. You're definitely not alone. Take your mental breaks, take your breaths, drink some water, maybe take the night off. That's what I sometimes do if I get way too overwhelmed. Night's over, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, try again, start again, keep pushing. There's nowhere to move but forward, friends. It does get stressful, it does get overwhelming, but it doesn't stop you, it shouldn't stop you. So listen to some little dicky, cry a little bit, get back to work. All right, this is getting weird. Turn the camera off. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Good news. There's a brand new shiny here in Pokemon Go that we, we knew about, but it's live today, officially. And I'd love to show you, it's, it's Psyduck. I don't have any Psyducks, and there's none spawning right now because today's Friday, the day before the Psyducks start spawning. But tomorrow, for you guys watching, is Saturday. And on Saturday is uh, when shiny Psyduck finally goes live in Pokemon Go here. And we're gonna do kind of a little lap, little one lure sesh here at uh, Evolution Park. I think this is a Metatite nest, so. Oh, we have two of those. One, actually, because we traded one to Gilly, I forgot. But yeah, right now in uh, Porto Alegre, the Safari Zone event is going down, and the shiny 
Psyduck is live there uh, as of today, Friday. So congrats to everybody out there who caught that shiny before everybody else and for everyone else. We get our shot at it this weekend, starting this weekend, and uh, hopefully the pier will be, uh, the spawns apparently are gonna be gonna be heightened. I'm gonna assume Talo and Zigzagoon level of spawns for Psyduck. Also, I've been saving all of these Shroomish. I'm really trying to get a good IV. They're all weather boosted. None of them are good IV. It's starting to frustrate me. But we should be seeing Psyduck here pretty soon. Shiny Psyduck looks sick. I'm gonna get a, a screenshot on screen in like two seconds. Hold on, next lure spot. <laughs> totally doesn't care. <laughs> Actually gonna work on uh, taking these gems down here because I think most of them are, I think I have at least one gold gym here. If not, some of them are, are devilishly close. Shiny Psyduck is uh, from all of my Pokemon Let's Go people. It's a really, really sought after shiny because it just looks so cool. That like weird neon blue is great. There, you actually, we battle on a gym. Check that off. I didn't even know that. So we finally have that coming to Pokemon. I'm, I'm excited. It just like, like that one I'd love to get. Groudon, I'd, speaking of Groudon, Groudon I'd love to get. Funny enough, the only ones that I wa didn't want to get, uh, Zigzagoon, we got. I would never complain about a shiny, but like, yeah, if we can grab a Psyduck and a Groudon tomorrow or Sunday, I'll be happy. Gonna come down to how long I'm able to get out there and grind for because I've been doing a lot of work um, off camera, which I, I'll, I'll kind of, yeah, you heard a little bit about it or more about the <laughs> the, the struggles. I'll talk more about it at the uh, at the next spot, but I'll kind of update you guys as much as I can. Yeah, it's what's going on in Go, you know? A lot of, uh, a lot of sparklies. A lot of, a lot, there's just, as time goes on, <laughs> more and more shinies to get. Makes the game so much more fun to play. And we'll uh, post up in this gym a little, uh, let's get that shiny Metagross, you know? Why uh, why not flex? Nice, okay, I'm gonna dump some berries. Next gym. Oh, hey. <laughs> Look at that guy. Welcome back, sir. Okay, next gym. Battling it down. So I guess an update on the project other than me laying on my office floor. Progress has been sort of slow. Still sifting through, I mean, like literally, I have like 150 plus individual conversations happening on my email right now. So again, if you emailed me and it took me forever to respond, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm working on that right now. So still really just trying to go through emails, uh, looking at building the, the brand and the corporation for the platform, uh, looking to hire. I'm still in like build mode right now. So again, not like a lot of like, like we're not launching the platform that I'm working on this month or next month. It's um, it's gonna take a couple months. Um, I still need to find a developer, which I think I stumbled upon the other day, which was great. And then I still need funding for the project as well. So, uh, you know, a lot of the basic steps have yet to be taken before launch happens, but uh, things are happening, you know, progress is being made. We're, we're rolling in the right direction. So it's definitely exciting. And then in my, uh, in my, production per se or, or, or creation of this platform. I've been doing like a lot of research, um, obviously on mental health, on psychology, and specifically on uh, technology and more specifically social media's impact uh, on mental health, which is super interesting stuff actually. I appreciate Pokemon Go a lot more these days now that I'm doing more research on like psychology and effects of video games on it and, and, and social media on it and tech on it. This game is like but like Pokemon Go is what I aspire to be. I, I aspire to make half the the impact that Pokemon Go did on the world. Um, this game it leaves a much bigger mark than a lot of people kind of give it credit for. So I'd say this game's a big inspiration and in kind of what I want to do in the future. Not in the w sense of like, like I don't want to create a game, but I'd love to be able to create uh, impact like this game did. That's the goal. I'm gonna leave a shiny for alligator because why not? And then I'm gonna bury it up. But uh, I guess it's kind of a, a quick update on what's going on. And I've definitely said it before. I'm gonna try my hardest to keep you guys uh, as I'm gonna try my hardest to keep you guys as updated as possible uh, as I progress on this project because this project is gonna cause me to kind of not not zone out of the Pokemon Go scene, but I'll be doing a lot less Pokemon Go stuff. Shiny, including shiny hunting, which sucks. So guys, remember, if, if some news pops or you guys see a, a cool article that you think would make a good video or you come across some discovery in game, tweet me it because I probably won't see it by myself. Okay, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna knock that gym down off camera and see if anything else spawns and uh, yeah, gang. And we, oh, I I thought we defeated it. How does, how's this still alive? Watch this, watch how quick we're gonna just eat this SPN alive. <laughs> oh, I didn't, Never mind. I thought I had bite, I didn't. And now we got it. Now the gym's ours, we'll leave a uh, salamance here. Let me bury this really quickly while we have these starpies down. And, okay, lures. Well, uh, not a whole ton in the lures, unfortunately, but We've got actually a lot of research to claim, so let me just knock all of these out. Get our stamp for January 25th. I missed it yesterday. Suck ghastly, huh? I could be shiny, eh? And tomorrow we get our box along with our shot 
at Shiny Psyduck and more Shiny Legendaries, because again, Santa Monica Sesh tomorrow, so next video will be lit. Also, Duskull, hello there. Ugh. Nice research, gonna give us a little bit of a... Um, wow. Hello, John Hankey. And that's ours, that is down, check. I actually have a 100% heavy tentacle, I'm pretty sure, right? Do no? Yeah, I do. <laughs> the king. We need to max this out. We'll max this out soon. I am one thousand percent maxing this. Like, there's no, there's no chance I'm not. I actually, I also need to match this, max this too. Okay, let me click this last research, which will give us a Machop. Wonderful. If this is bad IVs, I will trade it to Gilly when I see him next week. I'll also, I'll be in San Francisco next week. So, <laughs> gang. Okay, cool. That's that. That's the sesh here at Evolution Park. Uh, I will see you probably in right now. What's a good day without some urban plates, right? Shout out to JT Gilly and my right eye.